Hi, why don't you come with us on a Kentish road trip? It's a part of the world we know pretty well. And if you like what you see, then why not subscribe so you don't miss any of our further adventures. So we're heading to just south of the M20, to the red area marked on the map. Junction 8 if you're coming from London and Junction 9 if you're coming from the coast. Our route is a circular one, starting at Headcombe, heading on to Pluckley, then Smarden, High Holden, Tenterton, Rolvedon, Benedon, Cranbrook, Sissinghurst, Biddingdon, and finally returning back to Headcombe. It's only 40 miles or 60 kilometres, so it could easily be a cycle ride too. OK, confession time. This was recorded in two bites. The footage for the village and towns late last summer, and the road sections a matter of weeks ago. Anyhow, here we are entering Headcombe along the A274, although it has a number of different names as it travels through the countryside. I started at Headcombe as it has a mainline railway station and a journey from London takes just over an hour. Should you want to do this as a cycle ride, then Headcombe's the ideal location. This charming little town would make an ideal base should you want to break this trip over a number of days. It has a butcher's, a baker's, but I'm not sure about a candlestick maker's. So we're now going to head out of town. I'm going to keep all our visits to towns and villages quite short, so you just get an idea of what they're like. Along this route we're going to get some lovely sections of road, but there'll also be some narrow twisty bits too. We now arrive at Pluckley, which is about 7 miles or 11, 12k from Headcombe. It's renowned for being one of Kent's most haunted villages, if not in the whole of the UK. But it's okay, we're visiting during the day. And if it looks just perfect, it's because it was the setting for the 1990s hit TV drama, The Darling Buds of May. represents typical village life with the butchers, the post office and of course the church. We're now going to turn left and head south on the Smarten Road towards, well you guessed it, Smarten. A quick word about speed limits. In the towns and villages it's normally 30 miles an hour or 50k and on the open country roads it's normally 60 mile an hour or 90 kilometers. Just keep an eye out for the speed signs, which are, of course, in miles per hour. We now arrive at Smarden, which is about four miles or six kilometers from Pluckley. I think this is a pretty little village. Let me know what you think. Just leave a comment below. These buildings have been around for hundreds of years. Just imagine what they've seen in their lifetime. Time to head on to the next destination. Just a word of warning, some of these roads can be a touch narrow, so just take care as you're exploring. It's just over 5 miles or 8k to our next destination of High Holden. The village is renowned for its 13th century church 
Oh, and that, by the way, is a beacon. You'll see a few of those as you travel through the countryside. You'll notice along the route there's plenty of country pubs and English food isn't as bad as it once was, so why not give it a try? It's three miles or 5k from High Holden to Tenterton, our next stop. It's certainly somewhere I would consider staying. It's also home to the Kent and East Sussex Railway, a heritage railway that runs a service from here to Bodium, where you'll find the National Trust Bodium Castle. And another place worth visiting is the Chapel Down Vineyards, just a short drive from the town centre itself. Another reason to stay in the town, because who wants to be the designated driver? And you certainly don't want to be spitting the wine back. Ooh, a tractor. Now you're going to see a few of these on your journey. You just need to be patient. So from Tenterton to Rolvenden, it's a further three miles, once again 5k. Once again, country pubs and places to back up something a little unusual. You'll also see plenty of these in Kent. If you know what they are, then drop a comment in the box below. And a windmill. Who doesn't love a windmill? And now our next stop over, Bennington. Just two and a half miles or 4k from Rolvingdon another pretty little village in the Kent countryside. And that's the symbol of Kent, a white horse on a red background with a motif in Victor. One of the things you'll notice about Benetton is the massive village green, ideal for a good game of cricket, I think. As you can see, the distances between the locations are all relatively small, so it would make an ideal bike ride. And the train's not that hilly. And now we head to our next destination, the town of Cranbrook. Three and a half miles or six kilometers from Benedon. Now this is a town with plenty of history. In the 14th century, Edward III of England, who brought across Flemish weavers to set up the cloth industry in the town.
Also, the George Hotel on our left is a late medieval inn that once received Queen Elizabeth in 1573. Now let's just have a look round Cranbrook in the high world of Kent. St Dunstan's, the town's church, is known as the Cathedral of the Weald, and the clock installed in the church tower in 1855 is a prototype of the one that was installed in the Queen Elizabeth II Tower, also known as Big Ben. And that in the distance is Cranbrook Union Windmill. And now we have a roundabout. Remember, slow down and prepare to give way to the right. And now we have Sissinghurst, just a couple of miles and maybe three, four K from Cranbrook. renowned for its castle, and that will be the subject of a later video. Again, somewhere you can get watered. And now we reach our final destination. Biddingdon, four miles or six, seven k from Sissinghurst. The village sign represents the Biddingdon maids, a pair of co-joined twins born around the turn of the 12th century. Now I like Biddingdon. It's a pretty little place with a Michelin styled restaurant, but also nice cafes, tea rooms, bars, and just a nice place to stroll around. Now I said this was the last destination, but that's not strictly true. We're now heading back towards Headcorn, the start of our journey which is about four and a half miles away or 7k. I hope you like what we've put up here. Why not check out Kent's Seaside too? I'll pop up a link to Margate. Why not subscribe so you don't miss any of our future travels? And thanks so much for watching. Happy and safe travels.